Hello, my name's Robert Dean Steele. Got some advice for dads today. Now, dad, of course, you and I have the opportunity to do some molding and shaping. But that also means from time to time, you got to do a little bit of discipline. You know, not that long ago, I was in a store and a little guy was acting up and mom was sitting there all embarrassed. You know, it would have just taken just a moment to talk to little Jill or little Johnny and say, we're going to go and have a visit in the uh, car there and we're going to have deal with this understanding. Well, of course, to help and shape and mold your children, there are, of course, different means and methods. Now, if you subscribe to the old idea of not sparing the rod or spoiling the child, you know what you need to do? You need to always do it when you are not angry. Never discipline a child when you're angry because you're going to over discipline. You're going to, you know, uh, do something to them that is going to be long term. So always do your discipline when you're calm and when you have had time to think through what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and also how you're going to explain to them. And remember, any discipline that you do is corrective, okay? So whether it is putting them in the corner, taking certain uh, things away from them when they're older. I remember my children often telling me, you know, Dad, you knew exactly how to discipline us when we were older. Often we would uh, use things that they enjoyed, like video games or different types of uh, discipline along that line. There, there comes a time when they're older when, you know, uh, taking the rod will do absolutely nothing. So you got to know exactly how to discipline, also where to discipline, but also explain why you are doing the discipline. Because otherwise, it can create animosity and also misunderstanding with your children. It can also lead to lack of respect. But you know, I have discovered, and now I, I admit that I was a bit on the old school side and still am a little bit on the old school side. But when my wife and I were doing foster care, we learned all kinds of new methods on how to discipline. And we applied them and they worked. And so there's many different ways. You know your child and you know what's best for them. But it's also a process of experimentation. And it's always got to be with a positive um, aspect to it. You want to create a bond between yourselves. You want to have them know why they're being disciplined. The reason be why the behavior was wrong. That's all part of the discipline. It's not just doing it because you need to do it. You need to also mold your child and direct your child. Remember, <laughs> they do have a propensity towards, you know, the wrong, but you can correct it and you can do it by positive discipline and also discipline with love. It's a little thought for you today. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is a little thought for our dads.